question, Senator from Jim Den Central. Thank you, Mr. President. It is a privilege to serve Vermonters in my capacity as a state senator. And under our current structure, pay and benefits, it's also a great challenge for people without privilege to be here at all. I've asked many young people and lower income people to bring their voices into this space and run. And overwhelmingly, they tell me that they simply can't afford it. I take a pay cut as a social worker to be here. I live paycheck to paycheck and I work seven days a week during the session so that I can be here. And I have had to not seek healthcare because I can't afford adequate healthcare and I'm ineligible for employer sponsored coverage. The barriers to service in the General Assembly are astronomical. And for most average Vermonters, they're actually insurmountable, which is why the demographics of the General Assembly do not match the demographics of Vermont. And this is a problem. This is one of the reasons why we have such a difficult time meeting the needs of average Vermonters. This bill elegantly updated legislative pay to the average Vermont wage, meaning our pay would be tied directly to how well Vermonters are doing. We've seen waves of legislators leave because they can cannot afford to be here. And I know that members of this body may not be able to continue serving without this update that is 20 years overdue. I am deeply saddened that we can't move forward with making this update so that we can open the doors of this body to everyday Vermonters to hear their voices as we look to build a stronger and more inclusive Vermont and a stronger, more inclusive General Assembly. Thank you.